Okay, so what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Black Ops Cold War campaign. This is going to be episode 2. If you haven't watched episode 1, I highly recommend going to watch that before you get into this video. Without further ado, we're going to continue where we left off, which was customising our character slash like profile. Um, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, uh, subscribe if you're brand new, and uh, yeah, let's get into episode 2. Bell. Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Jesus. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. Have I got to be doing something here? There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. CIA and the DOD are tapping your inside. Burger Town. Hold on. I I did see this in the comments. Someone said they wanted uh, subtitles. Uh, is that in subtitles? Here it is. There you go. Um, I'll just put it on regular. There you go. So far, there are no leads on the first unit. MI6 has come up empty handed as well. So we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam. Closest encounters with the first unit. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past the mark. She'll cross reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Vietnam, boy! Well, this is where you come in. Your MI6 experience helped our team back in Nam. Counting on it once again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps to Danae. Anything that can give us a lead on Perseus. He looks really weird. Uh, use the evidence board to select the next mission. Ooh, I like this. Use the evidence board to select the next mission. Replay previous missions or examine evidence. When you see this icon, new evidence is available that can assist you in the next mission and more. So I've heard rumors that this campaign is very similar to the way Black Ops 2's campaign was with the uh, the side missions. Uh, and the same with Infinite Warfare. And I think if you do certain side missions, it does affect the ending of the campaign. Now there is multiple endings of this campaign. And I'm hoping to get at least every single outcome... Maybe record them all in one video, like every outcome, or maybe record separate uh, campaign uh, things in different difficulty and try and get a different ending. Uh, but yeah, let's um, it just says next mission. That was the mission we just done. Uh, the CIA is seeking the whereabouts and plan of the Soviet operative known as Perseus. It's actually really cool because this is real. Examine evidence. Uh, photo of Camp Haskins, 8,000 miles from home, located just north of Da Nang. Camp Haskins was part of a Cog Congo bomb. I'm going to try and say that. Uh, U.S. military base uh, that supported the army, Marine, Navy, and Air Force. So I feel like this McAfee SOG team was briefly stationed there in the fall of '67 and into the early winters of '68. This photo was taken on a rare day without rain. Uh, during the region's winter monsoon season. It was during this week at, at Da Nang that Adler's team discovered evidence of Perseus' activity in Nam. I'm hoping it's a really cool Vietnam mission. But yeah, if you guys want to see any of this and you want to see like a video of me just reading through all of this, then let me know, because I'd be down. I always love looking at the extra details that COD put into their campaigns, especially Treyarch, because they do put some attention to detail in their campaigns. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name, 
We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, it's, we got a job to do. It's so much like BO1. I love it. With like all of the, the quick images and the flashes and, you know, trying to go back into your own memory. Quality. For some reason there's music in the background and I don't think you guys can hear it, which is good because I don't want to get copyright striked. Scratch your jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, time to wake up. Oh, let's do this. M16 as well. The true NARM experience. M14. We're going to take that as well. Oh, wow. This looks gorgeous. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins. A little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe there. I reckon there's a lot of a detail in this. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Damn, dude. I can't wait to see what this looks like in 4K on the PS5. Sim. Oh, that's the guy from the, uh, what we're working with now. Hey, Sim, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I want it all up here. Well, you're with Sims. Usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset that Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax. We got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> this is quality. Badger Niner One, good to go. Badger Niner Two, clear to. I'm sorry, I have to do this. I do not want to get copyright striked. I'm really sorry. Maybe one day I'll op I'll uh, I'll uh won't leave it. I'll have it so the music can play. But right now I don't really want to get copyright striked by YouTube. sitting comfortably oh man adler why do i get the feeling you about to give us some bad news because you're a smart guy sims but the news isn't bad in fact it could be very very good the asset of ripcord is gonna have to wait a little while we're breaking off from the armada taking a detour and that's good because a source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town a soviet operative known as perseus Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG!
with me, Bell. Let's do this. Okay, why does the audio sound really weird? Oh, it's full auto M16. Okay, we are. We're not going to do that again. Give me some cover. Oh. He is not Vietnamese. Are these Spetsnaz? Their uniform is not Vietnamese. Anybody looking for a needle in a haystack? You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Add them. We confirmed it. Soviets. Yeah, they are Soviets. Sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the armada and get this fucking asset. Jesus. That transition was clean. This is cool. I didn't realize I had rockets. This is really awkward to control. It's so close to the screen.
These transitions are really nice. I think my video editing was that good. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V Sog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged up the fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a fail safe. That's all you need to know. That desperate already? Not yet. Why are we carrying a nuke? Poor guy, man. Somehow Perseus knew. Sim, Bell, you okay? We're okay. Oh shit. Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun. Using a minigun upside down. Alright. Call it in. Grab a weapon. Keep them the fuck off us. Oh, the M60. Do you not regen health? We would be dead. Personally, I think we would be dead. You think we can call this a success, Sims? At least the nuke didn't go off. What is that? More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. I told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. I don't like how my character don't speak. It's really annoying. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap early yet? 
No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. Damn. That was a good mission. Going back to Nam, that's always a fun journey in a COD campaign. I was surprised that it wasn't as hectic as normal COD, though, because normally you get like. I'm going to pause if I can. I can. Uh, yeah, I was surprised it wasn't as hectic as normal uh, COD campaigns, where when we went down, I was expecting hundreds of enemies for it to be unrealistic, but they kept it to like quite realistic with only like four squads moving in, like six of them in each pack and there was only like there wasn't hundreds of them and you weren't swarming but um that's a really fun mission uh going back to nam is always quality but if you enjoyed that make sure to give it a like uh part three will be coming up later today i will have some multiplayer gameplay coming up for you guys as well i'm really excited for black ops cold war and what it's going to bring us this year so far i've been playing with my friend it's 7 30 in the morning in the uk i've still not slept uh, i'm not tired and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're brand new share this with your friends and uh, i'll see you in episode three peace out